today I'd like to go through the process of adding a new assessment into Adam. I'm going to click on the assessment tab and the first thing that I'm going to do of course is to add a new assessment task. I then am presented with a list of all of my classes. I'm going to add a task for my grade 12 class. I click on next. At this point I have two options. I can either create a new assessment which will require that I enter new details down here or if I work in a larger department with other teachers I can choose to copy one of their assessments. Now you'll notice that all of these teachers names are mine but if there were other teachers in my department I would see all of their assessments and I could copy the settings that I needed to create a new assessment. But today let's learn how to set up a new assessment. If we go down and have a look at the options that are required, the first thing we have to do is specify which reporting period this particular mark is going to count towards. In this particular instance, I have two reporting periods that it could be. That's simply because my system administrator would have set that up. However, it should default automatically to the current term for you. We then get to enter an assessment name. I'm going to call this assessment class test and in brackets I'll just put their theory. We then choose which assessment category we want this assessment task to belong to. Now on this particular server we've set up two categories either classwork or examinations. Because this is a class test I'm going to choose classwork your system administrator might have set up other categories for you to choose from. Today's date is the 18th of July which is why it's got that date already written in the box. However, if this assessment was written on a different date it's suggested that you choose that date. So let's pretend that this particular assessment was written on the 15th of July, that was last Friday. The results release time allows me to place an embargo on the results. So I can say, for example, only release them on Wednesday morning at, uh, let's say, 11 o'clock, because I know that I've got a lesson on that morning, and so I'll be able to go through the class test with the class before they see them online. Assessment total, this class test, let's say, is out of 50, and the adjusted total which we'll talk more about in a minute, I'm going to keep the same as my assessment total as 50 as well. Essentially, the adjusted total tells Adam how heavily to weight this particular assessment when it calculates a term mark. The last thing we have to do is to tell Adam how many questions we're going to use to break down our result. So, for example, I'm going to break this into three questions, each of which is going to be a associated with a particular learning outcome. You must have at least one question obviously but that could be simply a total. Adam can do a question by question breakdown so for big assessments like examinations it might make sense to break your assessment down into smaller questions than you normally might. Let's click on next and Adam will show us the details at the top that we're going to confirm and then below it asks us for the details involving the individual questions. Now Adams try to be clever and work out that three questions divide or 50 marks divided by three questions is about 17 but it's very seldom correct. So the first question might be out of 20, the second one might be out of 15 and the third one also might be out of 15. It is important that my total is out of 50 otherwise I won't be able to continue. So, for example, if I change that back to 17, my total is 52, the next button down here is disabled and I can't progress. So let's change that to 15. On the right-hand side, we can specify which learning outcomes we want associated with the particular marks. Adam uses these to automatically calculate your learning outcomes for your students at the end of each term, which is quite a handy thing to do. So, question 1 lo1, question 2, let's make lo2, and question 3 will make lo3. You can of course repeat them. I could have two lo3s if I wanted to, 
but for this example let's stick with that click on the next button to continue and Adam gives me one last chance to confirm that everything's correct at this point I can go back and change any single thing about this assessment the minute I click on next those details are going to be locked in and there we have it click to enter the marks and here we see the list of pupils in my class I only have five of them and then we get to enter their marks for each question as I enter the marks you'll notice that Adam starts adding up a total calculating a percentage for that pupil as well as an average for the class so let's carry on and add up the marks so the final result then for Anthony is 37 out of 50 which of course is 74 percent I can leave a comment here that comment is displayed to Anthony and his parents if they log in to Adam to see his marks so do be careful about what you write there good work seems to be a good one and then let's say Alex has got 17 for the first question 14 for the second question and 9 for the third question he got a distinction so I'm going to write there excellent excellent now I'm going to pretend that Mahesh Govinda was absent for that so I'm not going to enter any marks and you'll notice of course that he has an AB there if I enter a zero that is going to count as a zero towards him whereas if it's an absent it isn't detrimental at all let's just enter some marks for the last couple and there we have it and then I'm going to save the results I don't have to enter comments if I don't want to so I'm not going to for those last couple save the results and what Adam done does then if we go we can go back so if we were in the middle of entering a particularly large class we can save halfway through and then use this first option to go back to the mark entry screen or we can have a look at the analysis I'm going to open this in a new window just so that we can come back to that there it is and this is the analysis of the particular assessment now it doesn't really show up nicely for a class of only four but I have a symbol distribution there up at the top it gives me my quartile breakdowns and then uh, the question by question breakdowns it shows me the various statistics it is a lot better and a lot more meaningful if you have more people in your class than I do then the last thing that I want to show you also I'll open it in a new window is the assessment summary and this shows me the mark book of uh, the term so for example there are all of my assessments and the class test that I just entered on the 15th of July is the second to last column here you'll notice there is the absent mark and there are all of their results with an average and a standard deviation for the class so if I was meeting with parents at a parents evening this is an example of a report that I might print out for that meeting let's go back to more adjustments that we can make on our marks I can go and change the task results so if I click on this I can choose my class again from term 2 grade 12 and then in the list I have all of the exercises that I've got and I get taken straight back to the screen so I can do that the one that I want to look at now however is how to calculate weightings and so on for your particular classes for a term so we're going to choose that option and I'll go in and choose my grade 12 class again and here we have a list of assessments now we have in this column here total those are the the totals that I entered and you'll remember for my class test I entered a total of 50 in the adjusted total however is how much I want this to count towards the term mark um, and so you'll see for example some of these adjusted totals don't match up with the rest I'm going to change this SQL and Java test also to be out of 20 and you'll see why I'm going to do that in a second and then if I add up the total here 30 40 50 60 70 I'm going to ignore that with 80 
So I want that to account 20% for the final mark. Now I am making it add up to 100, but I don't have to. Adam was perfectly happy to look at all of the marks that were there, and you'll see now that the percentages agree with the marks. Let's say this test was important, and so I wanted to count slightly more, but I can't be bothered to work out the percentages. I can change that to, let's say, 40, which means that it'll count twice as much as that, but Adam has now realized that these marks don't add up to 100, and has now calculated percentages as if um, of, of the total. So 40 out of this total here would be exactly a third, 33 and a third percent. It's important to realize that these marks count towards your classwork category. And so for my term mark, if I want my classwork at the moment, my classwork is going to be 40 percent. This third for this class test that we've just entered, the 33 percent there, means that the class test will be a third of the class work. Now, I might want it that my class work counts, say, for example, 25% and my exams count 75%, so I can do that. My class test still says a third here because it's counting a third of this 25%. If you want to work out an overall percentage, it would be a third of 25 and that's how much that particular test would count towards the term. You'll notice that I haven't entered any exam results there, and as soon as I do, those will be counted in, and they'll be weighted at 75% compared to all of these which are weighted at 25%. You'll also notice that I've got a normalization task here, which I happen to have duplicated. The 20, the 20 that I've got there and you'll notice that this one has been weighted as zero, and that's because this one was a mistake. If I click on the results, you'll notice that all of those results are empty, whereas if I click on the results for the one above it, there I have a whole lot of results that have been entered. So that's a very brief breakdown of the mark book, the assessment categories, um, the analysis of the assessments and the weightings for the terms. If you have any questions, let me know.